is up guys, it is Joe here from Joe Talks Wrestling and today I am bringing you a custom figure type video. Now I know that I don't make pick feds anymore, I don't collect WWE figures because I don't need to anymore. Um, however, I do still have my stuff left over and I've got all these accessories still. And basically guys, as you would have seen on last week's Smackdown, WWE unveiled this new version of the Universal Championship as what I call it, the Blue Universal title. And, well, let's see. Mattel are gonna take what? Six months, eight months to actually make a real version of this? So, I'm gonna be teaching you guys today how you can make your own custom version of the Blue Universal Championship for very, very cheap for WWE figures. Without further ado, let's get right into it. Okay, so first things first, you are going to need a WWE Championship figure belt. Now, I have loads of these championship belts, all in this container right here. Uh, I basically got every belt that I use in the PickFed, along with Money in the Bank briefcases, trophies, other championships, etc. So, what you are either going to need is, uh, I've seen that there's two best ways of doing this. Um, one, you could, if you, well, it really depends on what you have. So, you could use the current WWE Universal Championship, um, which I don't recommend using uh, at all. But if it's there, you could use the, uh, well, the old Universal Championship. Um, other than that, I don't have this one, but you could use the main plate of a SmackDown Women's Figure Championship, because obviously you've got the blue already there. However, the one I am using today is a WWE Championship figure belt. And essentially, these come on pretty much every single Elite they put out nowadays. Um, just to name a few off the top of my head. Roman Reigns Elite, um, Brock Lesnar Elite, uh, Kofi Kingston Elite is a new one. Oh, what else has it come on? AJ Styles. You know, it's come on so many. Um, so literally, if you don't already have one of these, then you can probably pick one up for cheap if you really want to. But for the majority of you, if you collect Elite figures, I'm going to assume that you probably either have... One, two, three. Um, I don't know. I have already, if I'm being brutally honest, I have already made these um, and I've currently already sold two on eBay. So that's why I'm making this video today because, you know, I, I want to show you guys before the last one sells. So, WWE Championship. Let's move downstairs. Okay, so we are now downstairs. Let's quickly take you to the table and go through each and everything that you are going to need for this project. Firstly, a WWE Championship Elite Belt. Some kitchen roll. Glossy Mod Podge, Matte Mod Podge, some blue acrylic paint, preferably darker than light. I am just using some default craft store brand paint, nothing special. A relatively medium sized paint brush. And finally, if you don't have a really fine tip brush, you can use some toothpicks. But this is everything that you will need to get this project started. Let's get right into it. Now, it probably would have been much smarter for me to put this on the previous section of all of the items you need, but you will also need a hairdryer. Now, the reason why is because you don't want to start painting this championship until you take all of the plates off of the strap. Now, I'm not going to do it. However, I will explain to you very simply how to do it. So, essentially, guys, this strap is like a rubbery plastic material, meaning that when it heats up, it expands temporarily. So you can maneuver it about, you know, stuff like that, exactly like the figures. So what you're gonna wanna do is obviously if you sit it down on a flat surface and hair dry it, not that you saw that, but it just floats away. So what the best thing to do would be is grab a pot um, or a little container like this one right here, pop the belt in it like that, and then just blow dry it because it doesn't float away that way. Now you literally need to do this for about 30 seconds. Then all you have to do is just pop the plates off. You literally pull, um, like literally pull forwards and then pull backwards. And that literally just pops off every single plate. That's what you're gonna wanna do. Keep the plates with you because they will need painting and keep the strap with you as well. The strap will cool down in about 30 seconds as well. Right, let's get into the hard part. Okay, so at this point, if you guys have followed me step by step, you should just have a strap. Now I know the plates are on this, but you should have the strap and the plates separately. So you should, you know, have your three plates and then your strap. Now, what you are gonna wanna do is you, it's up to your choice, literally right now. Uh, you can either add a base coat of white 
Um, because this is a black strap, when you paint directly onto it, sometimes, depending on the paint you're using, it won't show up very well, meaning you will have to use white paint as a base coat. Um, so then you paint over it. Um, white cancels out black, basically. So you can do that. However, I was fortunate enough for my paint to be thick enough that uh, I didn't need to do a base coat, so I painted straight on. Now let me explain to you what the toothpicks are for. So when you look at this WWE Championship, yeah, we're getting up close and personal, you can see that these black bits here, where the toothpick is on, see that black line? That is painted, meaning you are gonna wanna paint over that with blue, as well as each and every black section on this main plate, every single one. In total, there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You need to paint in every single one of them sections, as well as the two lines on the side plates to finish the plates. Then you can put the toothpicks down and move on to the slightly bigger brush. I'm gonna see if this has a number on it. It's a relatively old brush, so I don't think it will. Uh, no, unfortunately, it doesn't appear to have a number on it, but you can see it's pretty big. Now, the toothpick painting is gonna take a rather long time. Um, it took me around 20 minutes in total. Um, so when it comes to the strap, you can get it done much quicker. It's gonna be a bit messy if you be messy with it, but you can literally dip the paint into the, uh, or dip the brush into the paint, sorry, and literally just, um, I know this is on the back, you don't need to paint the back, but literally just brush it along uh, until it's all blended. Now I'm gonna show you my one. Now be aware, this is slightly brighter than the real one, but it does the job. Here is my custom WWE Blue Universal Championship right here. Uh, as you can see, I literally just painted it all with the blue. Uh, the side plates came out a little bit dirty, um, but other than that, the back doesn't need painting. I know I've got bits of paint on there, but you're not gonna see the back, and the real one has a back block and the real one has a black backing, so it really doesn't matter. But anyways, once you've painted it, it should take around, I'd give it an hour to dry altogether. So you should be left with fully completed plates and a fully completed strap. Now it's onto the sealing process. So now everything is sealed, what you're gonna wanna do is pick yourself up some Mod Podge sealer. You're gonna want glossy and you're gonna want matte. The difference is glossy, as you can see when I show you, can you see the gloss coming off of that main plate? That's what the glossy does, essentially. The light catches it and it's glossy. Uh, just like the metallic plates that Mattel already give you. So what you're gonna wanna do is all the sealing you do on the plates, you're gonna wanna use the glossy, but you don't want a glossy strap, so you use the matte. Now Mod Podge is relatively simple, just like paint really, um, but you can be more messy with it. So all you're gonna wanna do is grab a brush, uh, same brush if you wash it off, and literally just take a bit. You don't need too much, otherwise it will like, you know, dry up all lumpy and horrible. But just get a nice even coat all the way across all of the plates. And then when obviously, cause they're still not reattached to each other, then all the way along the strap. Now remember, you're gonna wanna do the tops and the bottoms or the edges of the strap as well. You don't want them being black. So you have gotta seal it all off. Um, like so, and literally just paint it all along um, and you should be good to go. So that will take around an hour or two to dry perfectly. That's when you can then have the flexibility of the strap again. You take the strap back to the hairdryer, heat up the strap once again, and just like you took them off, you pop the plates back on. And there you go, nice and simple, in total, uh, buying the paints and stuff. This project won't cost you less than around 20 pounds. Uh, if you've already got the stuff at home, then you can do it for absolutely free. I already had most of this stuff laying around, including the paint. But you've got to remember, I was a figure customizer. So there we go. WWE Blue Universal Championship Custom. Um, I have unfortunately already sold them on eBay. So uh, you guys don't get a chance to, you know, bid for them or pay for them if you want. So you can't have one of mine. You will have to make your own. But like I said, it is a very, very simple to do. You just need to have patience and a steady hand. And there we go. Universal Championship debuted by Bray Wyatt on SmackDown. You can have it in figure form right now. Now, I've been Joe from Joe Talks Wrestling. You guys have been awesome. Stay tuned for more wrestling content. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.